Right now, a Northern Kentucky mother is in Ukraine. She is trying to get the teen that she wants to adopt out of a war zone. That's right, and WCPO 9 News reporter Kendria LaFleur spoke with her just hours ago. The adoption process began more than two years ago after the two met through a hosting program. First, the pandemic paused their plans, then Russia invaded. Now this mother is doing all she can to bring the girl she considers her daughter home. And I told her I was going to stay and not leave her, so here I am. It's been more than a month since Colleen Thompson traveled to Ukraine in hopes of adopting her seventh Ukrainian child, Mari. Video from CNN shows the pair together in Ukraine. Weeks before this, the teen was in the war zone the night Russia invaded. And we got a call from uh, one of the caretakers at my daughter's orphanage saying they're they're bombing us. We need help. And it was terrifying. I mean, really terrifying to be on the other end of of a call like that and have no way to help. Thompson worked day and night with a group of mothers to help orphans evacuate. It became really apparent that we would be better help on the ground here. The teen and other orphans are now in Lviv. Thompson is there too. Their story is one of hundreds who are facing a challenge to get back to America. The normal legal process is basically thrown out the window now. It's martial law and no adoptions can happen now. It's a dilemma Justin Hazlett, the founder of Legacy Refuge, is also facing. They're urging the government to let orphans into the U.S. So from our perspective, you know, we have over 200 families who are saying, I've already hosted this kid, I have a relationship with them, and yet there's no, there just seems to be no legal pathway to make that happen right now. So the idea for them to have a safe haven and spend time with their adoptive families seems like it should be paramount, and it's such an easy yes. 73 lawmakers, including five tri-state lawmakers, have signed a letter asking the State Department to allow orphans to the U.S. Meanwhile, Thompson admits she's homesick but isn't leaving without her daughter. In the control room, Kendria LaFleur, WCPO 9 News. And as Kendria mentioned there, Colleen Holt Thompson has adopted six other children from Ukraine. They are all now here with her husband watching events unfold in Ukraine.